what has happened to our portions and why is a very interesting question from the perspective of 20, 25 years ago, you know, we had bagels that were three inches in diameter. You know, we had soft drinks that came in eight ounce bottles. We had, everything was smaller. You had a cup of coffee. You didn't have the huge 24 ounce venties. You didn't have the vending machines with the 20 ounces. Why have we increased it? Some of the studies suggest it's of course availability. Food to this point has been very inexpensive. So production has been very inexpensive. So it's easy to make more without having to charge the consumer for more. And then of course the other is our society has changed so dramatically and we're moving all over the place. We have the ability to eat out more, to grab more. We've developed a liking for more is better. So when we look at portions, it's really important to bring people to what's appropriate versus perception. And I think for people that's hard because you know it's hard to know what's six ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces. So if you can bring it back to common items as in, use your hands. What I often tell the students is that your hands are always with you so you can use them to your advantage. In other words, a woman's fist is about the size of one cup. The tip of your thumb is about the size of an ounce cube of cheese. Your thumb is about like two tablespoons of peanut butter. If you open your hand, your hand, so from where wrist comes in to tip of fingers, without much depth to it, would be about a three ounce portion. So a thin piece of fish, something along that line. If you go that full depth, we're probably looking at more in the ballpark of a five or six ounce piece of steak. So again, these are easy things to do. You know, you're out to eat, the portion's sitting on your plate, you look at your hand, you go, oh yeah, that cup, that three ounce, whatever it might be. The other one that's really easy for a lot of people is if you think in terms of, you've got your plate there, keep portions in control by doing two thirds of your plate, fruits, vegetables, grains. And the final third is your meat, your fish, your poultry. It is healthy food choices, but if you don't pay attention to those portions, healthy food choices, healthy food choices aren't gonna get you where you wanna go.